the video you've all been waiting for. Have they? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Some maybe. people, I guess, I hope. Since the beginning of time, well, for a solid year, we've been talking about... <laughs> At um, least 12 months. We've been talking about Zipzel. We've been using Zipzel since literally last year and we i actually had one of those you know on um instagram you get those notifications it says you have a memory and a year ago i was trying to um um you're trying to bag a freebie i was trying to get a free month on zip sale so that we could try it literally a year ago and the rest is history and we now have two zip sale accounts and we we literally talk about them all the time so when they contacted us and said dude do you want to do something fun um they didn't say that at all they just said you talk about us all the time do you want to talk about us talk more. about us some more um and yeah then we, do. we said yeah because we already talk about you does that make sense yeah it does um so anyway the time has come for a walkthrough of zip sale because i know a few people were um what was what, uh, requested it in one i of thought the... you were having that full-on breakdown then i was a little bit i was concerned so if i play that back and there's some concern on my face that's a genuine emotion for bethany's well-being so we're going to try and get <laughs> as much video in as uh information in as possible in uh a short a, amount of time a video um like i said we have two accounts and we're going to run you through obviously the prices and then just like a basic how to use it and how we use it um because we probably don't use slides all um no, the, the features. features um but i'm going to try and utilize some more um as i learn then i can teach does that make sense does it make sense it does and just to clarify you said they have two accounts um and that those two accounts obviously feed off two sets of vintage ebay's depops so you can connect uh one account to each so if you have like an Your ebay, eBay for account, football yeah. shirts but you also have an ebay for everything else then you need two accounts to cross list to to however if you have one ebay account and then you have either etsy depop vinted spotify spotify no not spotify a uh, shopify shopify, shopify. Or, i um, mean you can try and cross list to a music streaming app but it probably <laughs> wouldn't work i mean it's a great app but i'm not sure it does that yet However, do you, if you do have Spotify, then you can find us there uh, uh, at the uh, the hard the sell. Pick, at the luxury pickers, the hard sell by the luxury pickers. This Great is, podcast. This is going swimmingly it's terrible. Anyway, so right, I'm gonna basically what I'm gonna do is if anyone watched the Vestiaire video of how to use Vestiaire, yeah, I didn't know it was I'm terrible. gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna screen grab what I'm looking at and walk through it. But it'll be on the screen for you. That's mad techie for us. That's mad techie. Um, and then we'll talk for all the pricing and stuff like that. We are affiliated with Sipzel because we use them so much yeah. that it, it made sense for them to affiliate us. I'm not going to shout out any names specifically, but I will say we've had a few different offers from different people to do different things. And we've just said categorically no because we don't use it. It's just... It's kind of BS and I don't believe in, you know, posting, posting something you don't use or you haven't had any experience with. If you go back to our podcast, go back to our videos. I'm, like Bethany said, a year ago when we first started this, we, we started to use Zipsale. Um, and it was like, yeah, let's do it. Right. So without further ado. I'm going to start screen grabbing. I'm on the iPad. So if I look down. I'll keep you entertained visually here. And you can also look at what Bethany's doing. Where will we put it? Actually, put it over my face. Yeah. So or maybe your face. In the middle, maybe. Give me some screen time. Anyway, so um, it is a desktop application. It isn't an app. As far as I know, have I been missing out all this time? And is it really an app? I would recommend using it on desktop. So we're going to go through yeah, desktop, right? I think a lot of things have to happen, like mechanically. Yes. So I think desktop is probably better anyway. One thing you have to realise about Zipsell is, firstly, it's fantastic. And secondly, <laughs> is it is a new baby. It's been around for a year or so. Well, we've been using it a yeah, year. Yeah, longer than that. Um, yeah. But they're still very much developing it. It's a very small team of people. I think there's four of them. Um, they're grafting, by the way. Um, so sometimes there is you know a few tv issues um but they are normally snappy 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 and you just message them and say look this isn't going through and they will sort it out they are very responsive and very yeah. efficient i was going to say almost instantaneous to be fair i would say as long as it's not like three o'clock in the morning well yeah we have to be realistic now guys you know? anyway so you can see from my screen this is my all my listings i've actually done some listings so that we can uh show you how it works but these are some listings from last week um and then when you get a little message it'll pop up there so that red bar is nothing to worry about it says for some reason your sold items are not auto delisting so there's obviously you know if your items are not auto delisting let's message them anyway so if we look at the top left hand side of the screen 
but for you it would be right. Don't say that. That's just going to be a long video. Next just say to the, next to where the big uh, Next to the items. Zip Cell logo is okay. um, your subscription package. So as you can see, I've uh, this month so far, since my um, subscription monthly subscription has come out, um, I've done 102 listings and it, I put them into Zip Cell. And of that, I have unlimited listings, which is the top... The top oh whacker, whacker package. However, if you're only listing a few items and you want to try it out, then um, up to 30 listings imported each month is free. Okay, cool. So that's 30 new listings a month. So can I ask? Once Doesn't again, include the listings that are already in there. Cool. I was just going to say, I'm I'm kind of in this situation, I'm the dummy of the two, which is normally the case, let's have it right. But with as regards to Zipsale, right? So I'm going to ask questions which maybe you'll be like, oh no, that's obvious. But to maybe me or someone who hasn't used it, it might be less obvious. When you say 30 listings, yeah. or you count the listings, that's one listing. So I know someone asked on YouTube previously that if you, for example, you use every marketplace, so you were to use, um, uh, for, just for example, for us, we use Vinted and we use Depop, okay? Those two, that, that, that you could you could list to those two places yeah, as well as eBay, and that's one listing still. It's not the list, the amount of listings, it's the one item. One item across as many platforms as you as you use. So it's like one import Great. is one item. Okay, cool. And then you can cross that list as much as possible. It doesn't come out of your allowance. Right, next that you'll see my items, which is what we're on, okay? There's all my items. I've got like 165 million pages. Um, and then next that is marketplaces. If we touch, touch on marketplaces quickly and then we can run you through some information. So you can link to eBay, Etsy, Shopify, which is if you have your own website or anything like that in e-commerce sort of thing. It's Deep a massive e-commerce site, yeah. Vinted, Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree's coming soon and so is Vestia. Right. So at the moment, I've got eBay connected. I've got Depop connected, Vinted connected, and Facebook Marketplace connected. Well, I don't really use that, but we'll learn that. We're going to learn Etsy. I'm going to learn Etsy, and I'm going to sort that out. So what you do is you literally, I'm I'm all connected. But as you can see from the orange boxes next to Etsy and next to Shopify, you literally just cl uh, cl click connect, and you log on. As you would do, and go into the website or the app or whatever else. That's you, it. You, you email your, your, your that's password, it. that's it. That's it. And it connects it. And if you want to change them at any time, like sometimes I, um, when we didn't have two accounts, I would like swap my Depops, like I would swap, uh, log into different Depops at different times. So you could just deconnect and log into your new Depop or whatever, whatever you want to do. So that is that easy. It's so super simple. Now, import items is the next one on the top row now there's two things you can do within zip sales you can list in zip sale or you can import items i choose to import items it's just easier so i use ebay as my master lister that's your base for your items so i list all my items on ebay as normal as normal i schedule as normal i do all that as normal on ebay and then when at the end of every day because i list 10 a day on this account at the moment i i come over to zip sale and i import my listings so can i just say then as well that was a question which was asked at the summit um of maria who is um one of the kind of I the founder the founder of um zip sale and she they actually someone actually asked would it be better to kind of do a fresh a fresh listing in um, zip sale and put it across all platforms or would you list kind of in ebay which most people do and you just use that as the like, as you said as you do as the kind of base and actually maria said do it in ebay first it's just because easier. it's the way it works so then we, when it comes to import items you click on obviously the marketplace you want to import from and you can import from ebay or depop so you could use ebay as your master or you could use depop as that. your master okay um uh if I guess if you don't use eBay and you use Depop as a uh, if you're a streetwear seller or a, it's your main income maybe you can do it that way. But cool. I import from eBay, okay? Okay. I will do that for you now. Let's just visit the top. We're going to come back to community in another video. Um, help center is if you need some little healthy delpies. Uh, templates are going to come back to readers. We're going to come back to and analysts. We're going to come back to. So this is just a basic getting on the uh, website getting some items up and cross-listing them and showing you how easy it is. You to don't have to things. use any of the, like, super-duper, like, analytic tools or anything like that. Like, it makes no difference if you use them or not. Obviously, if you want to refine your business more and you they're want to use them, they're there to help. But if you're just getting started and you're just dipping your toes into Zip Sale... Or plain lazy. You don't have to use them at the moment, okay? I know Zip Sale are listening, and we will get back to them, Zip Sale... Right now, we don't need them. We just need to list right now. Right, so I put eBay, right? So I'm going to click on import. And this is going to work seamlessly. 
so it takes a little bit of time so in the meantime let's just have a little chat about zip sale so when you are up when you import your items it brings up the last i think it's the last 50 listed but we'll definitely be able to look at that now five zero here. yes yeah now as someone who has previously and dabbles and dives in and out of um uh, manual delisting and sell similar on ebay if that makes sense to you then sometimes when you do that obviously um zip sale will see that you've got like Say I've got 100, 1,500 items in my store. Um, they'll see that you've got 1,500 new items. Um, so in that case, what I do when I know I'm doing that at the start of the month, I do that and then I go into this process and I highlight all my imports and I, I hide them all because they've already been imported. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So because you don't need to import everything from la last month or the last few weeks, yeah. it's just maybe uh, uh, maybe could it be 5, 10, 50, 20, whatever, of the new stuff, which hasn't been on previously, correct? Yes, does that make sense? Totally. If I can get it... And you I can hide it. listings and you can uh, select which ones you want to import and you can select which ones you don't import. Let's see how... There we go. Here we go. So this is my last listed. So you can see, select the 50 most recent items and obviously you can select them all at once and you can press import at the bottom there and it does them all. However, as you will see here, so from the Ray-Bans down, downwards or from the, hmm, from the Paul Smith down, these ones have already been imported into um, my zip cell, zip cell at, yeah. a, at a later date. It's just that I haven't hidden them as of yet. Right. So what I don't want to do is I want to be selective. And because I do 10 a day, it works for me. I can just select my 10 and move on. But if you want to do bulk, then you can hide. Um, you can literally, if I click it again, it says hide there at the bottom and you can hide which ones cool. you want to hide. And they won't come up again. But that also means if you've never done this before, and it's the first time of doing it, you can kind of um, put it across in mass. Yes. Now, everyone's, uh, so a few people ask, um, and I know I asked when I first started, what about all my other listings? That's just 50. So once you've hidden and imported, the ones on this list when you go back in it will load the next 50 and then the next 50 and then the next 50 so the so the 50 the, fir the first 50 that come up are the most recent 50 yes. correct so if i if i'm if i'm selling my whole store which i've got 500 it might be 10 well it would be 10 literally 10 you just have pages, to do it right? 50 at a time perfect mm -hmm. yeah, be, okay yeah, so fine. i'm going to select my last my last listed items which are the top i don't know what is it seven right yep. and i'm going to click i'm going to click import now this can take a little bit of time. So, why they import? I'm going to talk to you about the costs. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. So, I'm going to pick up my other device for this one. So, up to 30 items a month are free. So you can upload 30 import, like I've just shown you, 30 new listings or items every month for no money. And once again, as I say, that's free. So, if you want to do 30 items and you maybe use three or four platforms. You can do that. So what's that? Like three um, you times that. I'm saying it's not just 30. It's that times four if you use four yes. platforms or you have those many listings across the board. And then uh, up to 200 items is 15. Yep. I believe this is plus VAT off the top of my head from what I pay. I believe this is plus VAT. Okay. And then 500 items a month is 30 pounds. And then... And then you can get into the big boy leagues and you can pay £60 a month for 1,500 items. That's 1,500 new items uh, every month. 79 for 3,000 and then 99 is unlimited. They have different names for these different levels. So, for example, the largest is business, pro, there's, pro, there's growth. growth. Um, just see which ones you need and which, which ones you kind of rely on, if you will. Um, we will be including a free month. But honestly, I say a free month. It, the, the, uh, I can only say that I, I'm one of those people that are really, well, we know I'm annoying, right? But I'll say these things to Bethany. Like, for example, I mentioned, I mentioned Vestier. Before we started Vestier, uh, I mentioned Vinted. And initially, like, you were that eBay seller, weren't you? Let's be honest. I'm always the guy looking for something different to do, right? Which I, was is like, I was like, I was like, Vinted. Bethany's listing. Same with Vestier. Uh, or, or once again, like what a lot of people say, percentages, blah, blah, blah. Now, what I'd say, especially like with Vinted and um, even more so uh, like Depop, stuff like that, because it does take time away from your day, like I just think to try it, if you hate it, cool. Like never use it again, that's fine. But try it for free because you know what? If, if I hadn't said to you, you zip sale, I don't think we'd ever done Vinted. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So as you can see from the screen now, they're all imported. It literally took five seconds. I 
We were talking, I, was, I, I went off on I it. was so dramatic. Anyway, so your SKU would come up if you've got a SKU input on eBay, or you can add one manually, if that's your kind of thing. And you can see here, because I've imported them from eBay, they're all listed on eBay, helps. Then I can click on the little trash can there, and it deletes it off of eBay. Okay. So it'll be gone off eBay, not just off Sipzel, off of eBay. So ideally, don't ever touch that unless you want it gone from eBay. Yeah, but you can edit there if you want to do a price adjust of like one item and you don't want to go into eBay or whatever. There's so many different options. Now you can see next to eBay, I've got Depop. Next to Depop, I got Vinted. And next to Vinted, I got Facebook. And then what I do is I pick which what, what? ones I want to uh, import to. Firstly, before I do that, you can filter down all your searches. So I've got all on at the moment. So you can just look at what you've got on eBay. You can just look at what you've got on Depop. You can just look at what you've got on Vinted. Right. Sometimes, um, so what happens is there's an auto delist within ZipSale. So when I sell an item on eBay, it auto delists off the other platforms. And likewise, if I let this sell something on Depop, it auto delists off the other platforms. Uh, vintage, vintage can be a bit sticky. Once again, we're in... Um, it's more of a learning period with that one. Yeah. Have so what I do is when I sell something on Vinted, if I sell something on eBay or whatever, and I do my nightly checks because I check nightly, I just type in, I just search which one I'm looking for and just see. And if it hasn't been delisted for whatever reason, I'll just manually delist it. Cool. But you can filter that down by marketplace there. Obviously, you can filter down by status, so you can de filter down by um, what's been sold, what's delisted, what's not listed, etc., so on and so forth. I would also say as well, we have, we have across the different stores, we have quite a lot of product, as most of you all know. And what I would say is, I don't think some people would be like, oh, that, maybe if that if that's not one hundred percent with vintage as of yet, it, like it's a bit kind of awkward. Like, well, I know it's on, well, I know it's off. Honestly, with the amount of items even we do, it's, it's really never been a problem. It's never we've never. So, if I've ever sold anything twice, it's definitely not down to that. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna pick a random item. I'll pick one first that will go on to uh, Depop because I. So what I choose to do, as everyone knows, all about you. High end, I cross list to Depop, and then lower end or high street, I cross list to Vinted, and then sometimes they cross list to both. So at the moment, I'm putting eighty pounds or less on Vinted. Um, and that isn't because high end doesn't sell on vintage, high end does sell on vintage. However, some of my upper echelon stuff I prefer not to be on vintage because I don't feel protected enough personally. For um, vintage, yeah. So it's just easier if I keep it uh, at a bracket and below, and then obviously with Depop, I put all the high end stuff and then it keeps it. It keeps it clear. Does that make sense? Totally, I also yeah. find for shopping experience, I've got a lot on Vinted, obviously, but I don't want it to be completely flooded. Like, I want people to feel like they can browse Vinted and have a look, just like Poshmark, if oh, that makes sense. Like Poshmark, actually, yeah. The so same, let's the start reasons. with this Runholtz black label, uh, white and black skirt, which I have um, shown in a previous video. I think Austin's actually going to talk about it in a video coming up. I'll do that. I Why just not? told him that, so let's do it. Anyway, um I'm not doing it if you say so. If you're enjoying the little like white white wall and calling them like white table moments, then just let us know. Take the that. force fun shorts as they're coming becoming known as. Force anyway, fun. so Depop. So we just put literally click on edit to list. I know. Look how quick that was. Did you see how quick that was? I saw that. Keep it right, going. So all your pictures come up. Depop have got this new thing. Have you heard? Multiple pictures, more than four or three or eight three. pictures. I'm so sorry. Anyway, so we can have eight pictures now, and they let us know because it has been an update. Please choose Ooh. up to eight pictures. So that's that, that's been a day, even right there, quite new. Yeah, that's why the the other day. So the other day when I was doing my zip sale, Depop wasn't cross listing. Yep, and, that and was it was why. for like for about three hours. I was like, "What's going on here?" It was because there was an update. See, that's cool. All right. So what I tend to pick, and this is helpful even if you're not looking at Zipsale and you just want to know what I pick. So you can see from my pictures here, I do a front view. Cue Austin's hand because the size of this side of this skirt was so heavy, it wouldn't sit straight and that really annoyed me. Anyway, so I want a front, pi front picture, obviously. Then I try and pick as many details as possible. So I know for sure I want a back pick and a front pick. And normally with Depop, with the four pictures, I would pick two label Labels, pictures. Yeah. But now we're spoiled. We're absolutely you do spoiled. what you want, gal. So this one's a bit nondescript, so I'll take number two away. This shows the button detail, so I think I'm going to keep that. I like it. That's quite close, so here, go with, let's go with this I more like exaggerated. Yeah. 
um and i think you can see the details in that picture and others so one two three four five let's get rid of this one and that one one two three four five six seven i got rid of one too many you're just crazy depop officially have too many pictures for you to utilize how about that that'll do so yeah, i've got like front that. and back a few detail pictures label pictures i like to include the size did i get rid of the actual picture of the label one oh. of the labels you got Never mind. You did. There was you one can, actual label label. Yeah, you can see it there. Let's not talk about that. Anyway, so what happens when it it comes into Depop is it gives you a, like a pre-made title. I just keep that. I think it's quite cute. And then it gives me my eBay listing uh, as it shows on eBay. And then it says pet free, smoke free environment, which I like to include. And please ask any questions. Now, um, I leave that on Depop, but I get rid of it on Vince and I'll tell you for why in a minute. Right. And because Zipzel is so wonderful, and this is, I'm obviously being a bit slower because I'm trying to show you, but it auto, form, it auto formulates the category. So it's a skirt. Just double check, just double check they haven't put it into, you know, like menswear shorts or something. But it's normally 99.9% .9 perfect. And normally when it's not perfect, it's probably down to the Depop themselves. So we got a Depop sale price, £200, which is the price I have on eBay. I've obviously got one item. That's handy. If you want to list multiple on Depop, you can come in here and change that little number. Um, and then sometimes De Depop don't have the best range of brands. That's not Zip Sales' fault. That is Depop's fault. So I'm not going to put a brand in because... And they... that's quite a specific brand, isn't it? Yes. Uh, and then shipping costs and worldwide costs. One thing you can do within um zip sale which i will go over on another video is you can default your shipping options on your platform so it literally just goes in every time and it's a blanket price That's cool. and it uploads. I know that. That's so cool. i've got 15 on worldwide costs which i do change time to time based on how far away people are and i have a 3.99 standard shipping cost and that's what i charge on ebay as well okay then okay. obviously the size comes in here sometimes it doesn't but 99.5 percent of the time it does and it is a size large so i literally just check the information as quickly as i possibly can i've gone through a bit slow of you because i'm obviously showing you and then i just put this i just do this wait for it i'm waiting for it i click save and list to depop and what happens is that little blue line underneath web.zipsale.co.uk, it starts like moving and it's done. That is on Depop now. Can I check? Yeah, go on. And then because I've got Vinted hooked up already and I've got Vinted hooked up as a platform to cross list on, it automatically then goes to Vinted. So you don't even have to come out and click your next platform. It's, it goes straight through to Vinted. In, the, in this particular case, I don't want to list this one to Vinted. So what I do is I just go down to the bottom and I just press back to dashboard and it doesn't list on Vinted. Then you can go to the, the list in there, the run holes, blacker, black label, white and black skirt. And and it is listed on eBay and it is listed on Depop. Now, if you're in the zone and you're not talking to someone else about how you do it, that took all of about maybe tops 20 seconds. So, okay, fine, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying, I'm trying. It actually takes Austin longer to find my Depop page. Well, uh, because I'm on, I'm on my Depop, yeah. Yeah, so you type, I can't remember what it is. Anyway, and then, so let's do an example now on Vinted. So let's go to this Hobbs, uh, no, no, let's do these hush pants, right? Hush grey cotton. Okay, sorry, I just found you. There, done, done, dusted. Okay, thank you. Let's go to these hush grey cotton because that's definitely vintage fodder for me. I want to ask you something. I want you to try and do this. It's vintage. Is it, is it a huge amount of difference? Oh, yeah, I just want to show vintage and then I'll show you how quick I can do it. That's what I was going to do. Right, so I'm not going to list that on Depop, so I'm going straight to vintage and I'm clicking edit to list under cool. vintage. Yep. Right. And here's my pictures. Now, I'm not getting any pictures on this because they Tell let me why. have all the pictures I want. Well, they don't. I think there's a limit, but that, that's fine. Thousands. Right, it uploads into the title. Notice how Depop doesn't have titles, so it just puts the titles in the description box. Yeah, above the description, yeah. But I would keep it because it's more keywords in the description box. Uh, Depop yeah, works the same ones. as eBay. There's searchable words in the description Good box. Point. So I look at my thing. Now, the key to Vinted is we're not allowed to be listed on Vinted because we are professional sellers. So you've got to make this look like it is an a professional seller Instagram. One of those ways is to not put your logo as your profile picture. Second way is to do this. <laughs> no. um, so I try and do, obviously my pictures are 
as nondescript as I'm willing to get. I just use a white wall. Doesn't everyone these days? Anyway. <laughs> um, and then what in my description, the pet free, smoke free bit, right? Although it's great for people to know that, it does kind of look professional. Because if I was just like Jane down the road and I'm plonking on my um my old spice mug. It's got a hair clip in it. My old spice mug, then I'm not gonna probably put pet free, smoke free home. Please ask some questions. I'm gonna put this in my mug. Buy do, you it. Want, do you want to buy it? Anyway, so what I do is I get rid of that. So I just go, bye. Just get rid of that. Normally on a computer, I can do this a lot more efficiently. Because for some reason, yeah, I was going to say that. Because for some reason, um, people who sell their own stuff don't care if it's from pet free, smoke free home. And they don't care to tell you either. I always look at the category on Vintu because Vintu is a little bit of a, an obscure beast and they like to uh, make it as hard as possible for everyone. Actually, when you manually list, I know this from doing a manual list on Vintu, there are like sections on sections on sections and like by the time you finish finding your, like, so that's pretty good if it pre-populates anything like So it. we're in the right section. Wow. We've got the right price. We've got the condition. We've got the brand. We've got the colour. That's how good that is. And then they just need to add the size. So these are a size 12 um once again these sizes are populated from vintage so this is what vintage considers a large so that's the um, drop down basically within yeah. this app and uh, then you choose your package size now as you know on vintage this is actually just a vintage life lesson but their small is very small so always click on medium because that's actually a standard small size package their small package is like, like an envelope, is an envelope yeah. yeah so list and save let's just see how long this takes one two three Oh, I feel the pressure. It's so taking much. longer because you're counting. One hundred percent. Yeah. There we go, Sam. Five, and six, then seven, because seven. I have Facebook as an option, it brings up Facebook, but I don't really list anything on Facebook unless it's really big and really heavy. Um, but so you can see there, it's listed. I can see. So let's try something that will go on both, right? I'm gonna do the churches. Okay. Um because that's a nice easy one that will go on both. Or should I do me and them? What do you want me to do? Do the churches. Right, so I'm just gonna do it and you're gonna not are you gonna time it or uh, what? Uh, oh yeah, do you know what? I will. If I can find my clock on my phone. This will take longer than Bethany doing that. Uh, right. Also a very funny uh side note about me is I like to time things. When I do time things, I forget to switch my time off and I'll check my phone at one point and it'll be thirty four hours. Yes. On your marks, get set, go. So I'm just gonna do these churches as quickly as humanly possible. So I want good pictures, so I'm gonna take that off, I'm gonna take that off, I'm gonna take that off. Uh that's eight, right? Yeah, cool. That's fine. Men's dress shoes, brand, price, number, done. I'm gonna allow for this time as well, which I counted previously. Come on, Zipdale. Come on, internet connection. Come on, living in the most rural setting. That was Depop. 26 seconds. 26 seconds. And that's also taking off some photos, which, to be quite frank, was kind of necessary because of Depop, but in general. And then if I just wanted to, if I just wanted to, if I just wanted to add Vinted on, mm -hmm. so keep going, because if I just wanted to add Vinted on okay, as a second option. Okay, so I'll keep option, that as it was. I, I, I start, go. Right. No, keeping all that. Keep, keeping all that. Keeping all that. Right, I'm going to get rid of this. It's going to take me the longest time because I'm really slow. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's go. Ride like the wind. <laughs> go. Formal shoes, see? Look, lace up shoes, you've got to add that one in. Yep. Come on, don't let me down. Medium. <laughs> Size yep. 8 is already in. Boom. That's all done, that's all done, that's all done. Hit it and save. So let's just go. Can we do it under a minute? That's the question for two marketplaces. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, like, Somerset. Is... There you done, go. Done, done. Yep. That, 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 that was my bad timing. That, that was, was under awesome. a minute. Right. For both marketplaces. So... Super fast, right? So that's but, like what? My biggest argument I hear from people is... What do you hear, Bethany? I don't have time. One minuto. Honestly, like, I can do that in the bath. Wait, I can do it, like, cooking I, I, in between cooking dinner. Yeah, I, I, I would say as well, like, you mentioned something earlier, which is a really good point with this specifically, is Vinted. Anyone who use Vint, has used Vinted, used Vinted for their own personal product, obviously, mm -hmm. will find out, as I just mentioned, some of the drop-downs, honestly, even the colours... It's, a, it's sometimes a bit of a work, I'm going to be honest. So for anything to be pre-populated or at least halfway there, that's the same time saving as on. It would take a, a, probably about a minute, even for fast vintage listers, to go right through start to finish. When you add photos, because once again, you can I'm upload the photos you, too now. I'm telling you, manually, just because, even like, I know, I sound so really stupid, right? But it's even little things like the monotonousy. So I'm at the yeah. moment, I am do, using ZipSell on two accounts, right? So that's allowing me to list on two Eps. Ebays, two Depops, two Vinted's. 
So that's six in itself. I'm going to cross over to Etsy very, very soon. I'm going to do a video on it. I was going to say, though, so you we can never, learn together. I was just going to say, though, you, we've spoken about this about Etsy because a lot of people we know, a lot of our friends actually are using Etsy and we never have once again. And it's something we've shied away from. Would you have, would you looked at it, being honest, no. if it wasn't for that? Uh, no, but this is what I was talking about. You know? so at the moment, I'm manually listing on Vestia and Poshmark it's really hard. Do you know how hard man <laughs> listing is? Right, and it's not just the listing because it's so silly. Because someone, I think the Poshmark team said it takes one minute to list on thing when you're in the flow, and it does. They're completely right. If that's all you're doing, though. Super easy. But when you're doing thirty of those a mm. day, honestly, by the second one, I'm already looking at what's in the fridge. By the fourth one, I'm changing the TV. By the fifth one, I'm literally asking Austin if he wants to do something. Like, it's the monotony. By five or six. Is so help, boring. help, help. But imagine doing that across, <laughs> just on these, doing that across six, seven, eight. Amazing. And once again, we don't use Facebook Marketplace. We obviously, we don't use that system we're going to do. And um, they're, like you say, they're, uh, uh, um, for sure, there are murmurs. The best year is going to become a uh, place to process as well. It wasn't a murmur. It was an email from the zip sale. It was a murmur. Anyway, anyway, but, that, but I think once, that's cool. once that comes into thing, I'm opening the second Vestia account and we're going for Big gold. Time. Big time. I, I, I would also say, I know I keep going back to it, but for me, because um, like I'm aware, more so Vinted, when, when we first had the second Vinted, I was listing. And honestly, um, Austin listing is... Um, I can't swear, but it, it's hell, okay? It's hell. Um, across the board, I don't mind it, I will do it, but honestly, I think I think we both have to say that it would be easier in life if Austin, I didn't. It's like, you know? Little, like, you know when you tell someone to do their homework and, they like, no, and they're on their phone and you think they're doing it? If, my, if, if we had a dog, we don't have a dog, but if my dog could eat my laptop or my homework or whatever, that would be my, my whole thing. I, like, I, I have no interest in taking longer than I need to. And, like, I, I, I was saying to Bethany when we first started this video, like, it's so hard to not come across, like, do zip sale, do zip sale. If you can give me in the comments a reason not to, cool. Because firstly, once you, what, the thing, I think the thing is, is if you, if I was saying like spend a tenner and see what it's like to start with, cool. Don't, like don't. A lot of people say they're free, and once lot, you do it, it's like you're a hooked. Lot, a lot of people also say they don't have a lot of items, so it wouldn't be worth it. Okay, so thirty new items a month. Even if you spread those out, right? Yeah. For the, for the free thing, so you just do thirty a month until you maybe got one hundred and fifty items in your shop because you got a small shop. Yeah. yeah. You could sell them all yeah. in like a month. And buy new stock. And then buy new stock. It just makes it faster. Yeah. I mean, some people don't like using Vinted. I get it. Some people don't like using Depop. I also get it. But from our perspective, I'm increasing my chances of selling things that I don't sell with the same amount on, on Depop as I do on eBay. Right. No, you don't. No, I agree. However, I'm increasing the chances of selling that item by... Three to four times. And most times. Of people, to be fair, I go back to it. Most people's uh, arguments, or not argument, but the point when they come to say, like, I don't want to use Depop, or like, they, they, um, we were speaking to someone on Instagram the other day and said, oh, We just don't use Depop, it doesn't do anything for us anymore. And that's cool because you have to spend, we've all done it, you have to spend time, you have to do the description, you have to do the photos, you have to put them across, and blah, blah, blah. If it was just a case of a click and 30 seconds, as Bethany just showed, to put that across extra, and it was there for 30 seconds for the sake of, if you only got 30, it's free. Like, that's mad. And it doesn't matter what you're like. I've stopped the screenshot now, but it doesn't matter what you're into. So you can use Etsy if you're doing antiques and uh, homewares or, or and Facebook Marketplace if you're selling furniture, for example, or breakables so you don't want to send in the post. If you're doing fashion, you've got the possibly send us. You've got yeah. Etsy, you've got, you've got Vintage, you've got Depop, you've got Facebook Marketplace if you choose it's to use it. It's only using the, a zip sale with Etsy. Comment down below because I'd really be interested to know what you think. Yeah, because I find Etsy interesting from what I can see from Etsy, but I do want to do a video because I want to, I really want to learn go. together. Yeah. Does that make sense? I know it sounds really lame, but I want to be... It does sound totally lame. I want to be a friend. That's really um, lame. But no, I don't um, want to from what I can see is, is that pound per listing that you have to pay. Okay, well, in, on, on Etsy, and then, what? but you don't pay anything else? No, and then you get fees. Okay, well, what's the fees? Uh, I, I don't know. Another video coming on Etsy. Yeah. We'll do Etsy and we'll do an Etsy with a wise But I don't have many things. I just have some of the like things I'm picking up, which are selling well, like the, my mid century mods and like houseware. Yeah, which would be doing really well, actually. Hobby. The other thing is actually, which might be a, which might be a good point is let's do maybe split it up or maybe do half and half and do a video of starting well, Etsy right manually. And then using zip sale. Well, yeah, that's what I was going to do. Ah. But I also did want to overload with like talking about the community, talking about templates, talking about real estate. When 
it's as simple as that to get started and then we all learn as we go like it's the same with ebay just list an item on ebay we can talk about promotions later yeah, we agree. can talk about relisting later we can talk about selling similar or later um but it, just getting started and seeing how it works for you is the greatest thing and i know so many people Zipsell came to the summit uh the reseller summit and they did a talk and i so many people signed up to it because uh, yeah it, because when you see it in front of you it just makes sense Do you know what i honestly thought because once again um like you said uh, the guys from Zipsell went to the summit and uh, maria answered a little questions and like i just i just quoted one just now but i think a lot of it is if you don't if you don't use it like we all do it as human beings right no no that's not for me like so, but why? Like, for example, with Zipsell, great example mm -hmm. right now. Why? Uh, yeah, I don't use Depop. I just don't use Depop. I don't use Vinted. But why? Usually because you haven't used your Zipsell or tried anything else with it and you have to manually list all those platforms. Can we also talk about, on a really serious note, the Americans have been doing this for years. Uh, the Canadians, yeah. the Americans. I'm not sure about the Australians, but you're going to let me know, I'm sure. Well, I was going to do an accent then, but like, I, I, don't, I don't even know if I'm allowed to do that anymore. Salvo? I love doing it. It's my it's my pure joy in my life. I just love Truth. it. Truth. But they actually say <laughs> salvo on them. That's amazing. I thought it was just like a nickname. Anyway, anyway. Um but the Americans have been Sorry, doing it. And eBay watching. Princess, I'm big eBay Princess fan. Yeah. Um on Instagram. She uses a e Lux on Poshmark. She uses a cross listing app. And her cross listing app is an American app and it lists every single marketplace in the world. Like she's got like fifteen on there and she pays like it's something ridiculous a month, like fifty dollars or something a month, right? Because it's the States. Because it's the States. And um and but it cross lists it crosses, uh, it crosses to them all. But she also can't. Poshmark. She okay. also can't. Yeah, Poshmark, and that's one of the main business actually. But we don't but, have it in the UK. This is this is the one in the UK. Yes. Like that's that's UK groundbreaking. Also, it's growth. Like uh, to be fair, I think the fact that uh, they're looking into different things, and like you just said, it's a great you know example. When I said it was fifty dollars a month. It's not fifty dollars. It's a month. lot. It's something that. expensive. Yeah. Fifty dollars a month isn't actually with the conversion rate isn't a lot of money. No. Um. What I was going to say though was um. And the I think her name is Holly, who is the uh, eBay princess. She actually says on all of her videos that if she couldn't, she wouldn't have time, and she has an assistant also, but they wouldn't have time to create that amount of listings in like the ten or five or six or different places they put each each item. To do it, they would be like, hire people to do it. You know what I mean? So when I do ten listings on this this account every night, I'm actually doing thirty a night, or depending on which ones I cross. And you can actually do forty but, or fifty, like if you actually use another marketplaces slacker whatever and then i also have another account now i'm telling you as a reseller as a human i if i lived in america i'd be a couponer because i'm telling you oh, everything would be you. free to me do you know, anyway. you, know you know the people who sit on the tail like uh, there's like there's like a cent left they've like 190 uh dollars of, of goods and they're like there's a cent. Oh, no, no, no. We're going back through this. That's best for me. I like, would dump the left. dive. I would vouch your coupons. I would get all the deals. Honestly, I would... That's like quite random thinking from the luxury figures. But honestly, I think that's where it comes from. Bethany is, is like... Well, they, what, no, 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 what people don't understand, right, is we, we're obviously a luxury because I'm a specialist in the luxury and I want everything in my life to be Louis Vuitton and Chanel. Doesn't mean I have to pay, like, if, nope. if I can, if I can save in another market to, uh, to, to buy luxury. Resale, then... not retail. That's a t-shirt right yeah, there. Yeah, that's a good one. I like it. Yeah, that's, I can put that on Instagram. Nice one. Cool, thanks. Nice one. You're welcome. Anyway, so basically... By the way, all those things I'm trying to really cool, they're always my quotes because I just come out with rubbish, but I don't get credit, so I'm not there myself. Whatever. On mine. <laughs> basically, what we're here to say is that is how you initially start zip sale. We'll be back for this more zip sale content. But we also want to let you know that there is a link down below, and if you take that link, then we are affiliated and... Take the first um, <laughs> And we do get kicked back, and that's totes cool. That's totes cool. Um, we don't charge for our content. We don't do no, anything like that. And it, it's good. It's uh, good, do you know good what? Thing. I'll say this. Anyone, right, I'll, say, I'll put this out there. This is quite a big statement. It doesn't cost you in the first no. month, and we get and and. We well, get, I'll be honest. We make good. a couple of quid, right? We do. By the same token, I, we can say nothing and not and whatever, fine. But I promise you, like, if you if you do it. And you list maybe 10, 15, 20 items, whatever it is, right? List them. And on these extra platforms, maybe you list them on, on the platforms already and you, you save time. Or you don't list them and just maybe open a Depop or a Vinted or maybe put them on Marketplace. I promise you, come back in like a couple of weeks and tell me you, you did nothing. And 
Uh, you won't. I just, I just know you won't. We're also going to do a deep dive um, into on a podcast because I know people really enjoyed our Poshmark podcast, um, which we looked at sort of like the inner workings, um, different methods of using the application, uh, the best way to get the most out of things. Yeah. And we're going to do that on Zip Sale as well. Um, it'll probably be next week. Um, but about that code, it's down in the link below. You can click on the little, little doodah. And if you use the code luxury, I repeat, L-U-X-U-R-Y. I hope I spelled that right. I have. Luxury. If you use the code luxury, you get, you get a month free. You get a month free. If that's a month free, that's a month where you don't have to pay. So my recommendation would be to use your free month wisely. Smash it. Smash it. Just use that free month. You use that free every month. Every Every, you use it. Upload your 7,000 backlog. <laughs> and if you are all of a sudden, you might want to sell some of your own clothes. Sell it on Vinted. I hear they the folks over there are doing well. Or if you got some cool kids living at home, Depop's one. Also, Depop though, on a serious note, I know I don't before we go, it's really it's really serious. That I was actually um I, I wasn't spit it out. It wasn't recently, but I was talking to my dad. You know, he has owned record shops, right? And he resells records. He does indeed. Right, and he uses an application called Discogs, which is specialist for oh, yeah. thing. But he also lists on ebay now i was just saying that you could also list on depop yep etsy and i'm not sure if vintage take them i think it's vintage take music though you could sell cds cds and um like cd players you know those are things electronics (laughs) anyway um so it literally applies to anyone yeah what you're saying is they're even facebook marketplace though if there's there's an item record players I'm, i'm pretty sure facebook marketplace um they're 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 their core values as regards what they sell is absolutely in anything. So based on that, you can put anything from your eBay account right across to Facebook, if nothing else, and do it for free. Yes. But you just use the code luxury. Hi, bye. We did it. If you love us or you hate us, just try it either way. Give it a whirl. Let us know how you get on in the comments. And do you know what? When you make your first million, just remember what we said. And I said million. Or well, tag us on Instagram if you use it, because that's really cool. And I love being tagged on Instagram. It's my favourite thing. We've been in Luxury Pickers. We've been, this has been Zip Sale. And use the code Luxury and enjoy yourself. Have a nice time. Are you going to say bye? Bye.